black, 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 black,
fighting against the progress. And one in particular is a city council that does not want to see this place prosper, but it's going to prosper with you or without you. And tell me about uh, the, the art gallery that we're in right now. Awesome. This art gallery is a welcome center, it's a training center, it allows small businesses to actually sell the product before they actually can afford a storefront, and it's an art gallery. And the art that's showcased here is from Eddie K. Allen. She's a Black Wall Street resident artist, and uh, it will be open every day of the week. We will, we will provide culture tours, uh, we will provide maps, uh, it will be here 12 to 6, 365 days a year. And so we want to welcome everybody in the community, welcome all visitors to come to our Welcome Center at 101 North Greenwood Avenue. And you can't miss it, 101 North Greenwood Avenue, Deep Greenwood. This is the Bakke building. This building is so historic that it was part of the Green Book. On the, uh, during segregation, it was on certain places that blacks could go as far as hotels, as far as restaurants. This is actually the spot that people could go and find rest. Uh, rest. Anything else about the progress you would like to add? Um, what this day means and symbolic, you know, centennial anniversary year. Anything else you'd like to add? When you come to our welcome center, right before you enter in, you will see uh, a gentleman that was actually uh, uh, affected by, an unknown gentleman affected by the race massacre. And you, it's a phrase that says mercy. And that's all we're asking with the Greenwood Chamber. Mercy amongst these developers that start, start to squeeze us in and not even be a member of the Greenwood Chamber. Mercy from our own people because uh, they need to realize that we're doing right here. There's been a lot of negative stories, but we're not doing wrong. We're doing right by the tents. And we got partners like this hat I'm wearing, Route 66, Raps and Signs. They actually matched what it cost to do this signage on the building. And I wanted to be known. That's why I'm wearing the hat. Route 66, uh, Raps and Signs, and West Tulsa. We have partners, we have members, we have people that support us. But a lot of the people that should be supporting us, our own people, is fighting against us and me in particular. I received death threats. They put pictures of my kids on, on social media, uh, uh, allegations on my job. That has to stop. And somebody's going to get sick because God has his hand on us. And they're going to get sick from doing all this foolishness. Thank <laughs> you. 